in my broad brim hats and my shot two shoes. Standing on the corner of a busy street, everybody kept on looking at me. I was wearing sunglasses after dark. Oh yeah, well you really shop wearing sunglasses after dark. Well I went out last Friday night. I got myself in a big street fight. Everybody getting boots, including me. Cause there wasn't there one who that could see we was wearing sunglasses after dark. Oh yeah. Well you look shot wearing sunglasses after dark. Come on! With my sweet son, ding dong, daddy came smacking to me. I could hardly make him out, the lights were so dim. Then I seen what was wrong with him, he was wearing sunglasses after dark. Oh yeah, well you do look sharp wearing sunglasses after dark. Now listen to me cats from coast to coast, if you want to tell the girls to dig you the most. Get on the bandwagon, join the parade Come on down and get you some shades I was wearing sunglasses after dark Oh yeah, well you do the shop Wearing sunglasses after dark Well you do the shop Wearing sunglasses after dark Well you do the shop Wearing sunglasses after dark Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Colin here with more rock and roll for you. Good to see you. Today we're looking at Sunglasses After Dark by Dwight Poulin. This came out in 1958 and the B-side was a song called Teenage Bug. Now, I think this was the inspiration for the Cramps' Human Fly. I can detect similar themes and I know they covered the A-side Sunglasses After Dark on their first album. And I've a lot to thank them for because if I wasn't listening to the cramps when I myself was a teenage bug, I probably would not have found this music. This is a request for Aldrich. Thank you, Aldrich. Come on, let's get rocking. Okay, folks, the first thing to point out is this song is in B flat. So the easiest way to do it is to put a capo in the first fret and then just use your A chord, D chord, and your E chord. Now the verse basically just stays on one chord, so it stays on the on the A chord. Well, I was strolling downtown, I had nothing to do in my broad brim hat and my sharp two shoes. Standing on the corner of a busy street, everybody kept on looking at me. I was wearing, and then it goes to D, wearing sunglasses after dark. Oh yeah, well you really look sharp wearing sunglasses after dark. That's basically the whole song. The electric guitar plays the same part as the acoustic guitar in the verses, so you're just going to play an A chord, bar it with your first finger. Not too difficult. Then we're going to do a boogie bass line over the, the bridge, so you're going to lead into it uh, on the A chord just before it goes to the D chord. You're going to play two open A's, then two on the A. And three, and then four. One more time. Then we're going to move up to the D, so we're going to start with an open D string. Three, four, two, two, four, two on the G. down to the A chord. So open A's twice, 3-4, then 2-2-4-2. Two, two, two. Now I've done a video on this stuff so I'm just moving through it quite quickly but I'll put a card up so if you want to spend more time learning how to play this riff but I'm guessing most people will know it already from other videos that I've done. And the bottom uh, E string for the E chord, just the same riff. And move up to the D chord, then back to the A chord. 
and this time, well, you can. There's, it varies on the record, but uh, it's quite nice just to stay on the A string. So open, open, three, four. Just play that like that. Let's have a look at the solo. Okay, folks, the solo goes like this. So what's happening, we're going to slide from 4 to 5 on the B and play the open E at the same time. Then we're going to play 5 on the E, 7 on the B, 4 times. And move that up to 8 on the E, 10 on the B. Repeat it. Then we're going to play 5 on the B, then we're going to bend the 7 and play the 5 on the top E at the same time. So 5 to 7 on the B, top E. So. Then we're going to play 5 and 5 on the top two strings. Just that whole phrase. Then we're going to play 5 on the B. Bend that 7 on the B up and then release it. And then play the 7 unbent. Do that 3 times. Then play 7 on the B twice. 5 on the B. And the next phrase is... So 8, 5 on the top string, 8, 5 on the B, 7 on the G, bent twice, then not bent, then 5 to 6 on the G, 5 to 7 on the B, 5 on the E. The last little bit of the outro sounds like this. So what's happening, we're playing 5 on the B, 7, 5, 8, 7, 5 on the E, 8, 5 on the B, 1 more time, then 5 on the B, 7 on the G, 5 to 6 on the G, 5, 7 on the B, and 5 on the E. And we're going to play this chord. Which is just like an E6. Okay folks, that's it for me for another week. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're interested in rock and roll, check out my Rock and Roll Guitar Masters course. You can see the link in the description below. You can connect with me directly and I will help you accelerate your rock and roll guitar journey. Okay folks, see you next time. Keep rocking.